Good evening and welcome to the WDSU News Hot Seat. I'm Norman Robinson. Tonight's topic, the historic agreement between Xavier University of New Orleans and the nation of China to establish a Confucius Institute, making Xavier the first historically black college and university in the country ever awarded this distinction. We were very fortunate at Xavier to have a very strong relationship with the National Urban League. And based on a visit that the National Urban League delegation did to China, a member of the delegation uh, with the National Urban League was uh, Dr. Francis's son, Tim Francis, uh, who actually made a very strong pitch for Xavier and, and made them very aware of the uniqueness of Xavier, not only as a historically black institution, but also as a Catholic institution. Well, I got involved. I was on a trade mission to China with the National Urban League, uh, which was headed up by Mark Moriel. My father, who's a president who could not attend the, the meeting uh, uh, to go and make the pitch, um, I was told uh, on the way to the meeting with the Department of Education that I would be making the pitch. This started when I had the pleasure of leading a delegation to China in 2010. That delegation was sponsored by the China-U.S. Exchange Foundation. In those conversations, we said, it would be great if a Confucius Institute could be established at a historically black university. As for Confucius Institute at Xavier University, because it is a Confucius Institute, the first one established in a historically, traditionally black university in the USA, this unusual aspect gives it a special opportunities. Well, uh, the Confucius Institute started, I, I guess, when we had the idea about partnering with uh, the, um, a school in China to, uh, for me to learn more about uh, traditional Chinese medicines and how they may play a role in treating patients. In particular, the College of Pharmacies focuses on health disparities. And so if there are certain diseases that could be treated with non-traditional methods, um, that would benefit uh, those that we uh, focus on, minorities, in particular African Americans, then that would be good for us to learn more about. I became involved in the con development of the Confucius Institute proposal because the campus administration really saw education as a critical component. Uh, at that time, I was chair of the Division of Education, and since then, we've become the Division of Education and Counseling with the new reorganization. But I've continued to be focused on working on ways we can implement the Confucius Institute and integrate the education component into that uh, concept. Well, you know, we've always thought that a student who comes to Xavier ought to be educated totally. And as we look at the future, totally means globally now. And this was an important opportunity for us, and it fit very much in our strategic plan. Uh, we have the sciences, we have teaching, we have art, music, and when we heard about Confucius Institute and how anxious China was to partner, uh, we thought this is, this is our moment in time, and it couldn't have been a better choice. We so, Xavier continues its legacy of firsts. First historically black and Catholic university, first HBCU and first in Louisiana to have a Confucius Institute, because it always happens at Xavier. The significance of first in the Chinese culture centers on popular themes of good fortune or happiness, wealth and longevity. We at Xavier certainly believe in the good fortune that the Francis father's son team procured and the wealth of experience and foresight of its alumni in Mark Morial. We are very happy about this partnership with Hebei University and pray for its longevity for decades to come. We at Xavier University of Louisiana, founded by St. Catherine Drexel, will now be linked by ties of mutuality and intent joined to our brothers and sisters in the People's Republic of China.
The intersection of Xavier's Catholic expressions through traditional gospel music and the ideals of Confucianism and its musical expression remain one of the goals of the Confucius Institute at Xavier. With its mission of social justice and the Chinese concept of gong, which is about fair distribution of benefits and burdens in society, the partnership makes for a perfect marriage between the two universities. Our jazz ensemble played for the opening of the Confucius Institute, and the senior vice president was there and said, we want that at our institution. And they really want to start a jazz program, and they want Xavier to help them start a jazz program. So what we've been discussing is authentic Chinese instruments that are used, authentic Chinese folk music, how things are conceived, uh, stories behind the music, and also, of course, we want to understand theoretical concepts behind performance practices on the instrument. With more than 300 Confucius Institutes worldwide and 80 in the United States, whenever universities and school systems establish a Confucius Institute, they receive support to develop Chinese language and cultural courses. And that's exactly what's happening at Xavier. What a great thing for us to have this Confucius Institute because of, with the help of Confucius Institute, we are offering Chinese language that our students are taking. Confucius Institute is organizing Chinese cultural events on our campus. So we are exposing our students and the New Orleans community to Chinese language, to Chinese culture. So when Chinese businesses come here, they will have people or workforce that is familiar with Chinese culture and Chinese language and that will be an asset to us and you know it will also help us attract more Chinese businesses in, into Louisiana. Xavier began to offer courses in the Mandarin language during the spring of 2012 and the popularity of the course has grown stronger with each passing semester. Our students represent a body that have been historically underserved, under, underprivileged, particularly from the economic point of view. So, well, they have been left behind before. Uh, right now, with the rise of China, we do not want our students to, to be left uh, and uh, also be uh, at a disadvantaged position when they compete with uh, uh, students from graduates from other parts of the world. So they have the tool, they have the knowledge, and also they have the perspective to compete with uh, the uh, counterparts worldwide. Xavier students also travel to China every summer to study at Hebei University. 100,000 strong foundation, an offshoot of an initiative from the U.S. State Department under Secretary Hillary Clinton, has the goal to send 100,000 U.S. students to China. Xavier has connected with the foundation and hopes to make Louisiana a 100,000 strong state. We are very much in line, I think, with what the Confucius Institutes are doing in terms of uh, wanting to see more and more American students studying Mandarin language, um, having opportunities to spend time in China through a variety of means, whether that be study abroad, short-term travel trips, internships, um, whatever that might be, and to ensure that more Americans have a better understanding of Chinese culture um, so that in the future we have a, a workforce um, of individuals who have a strong knowledge of China, a working relationship with China, and the ability to, to collaborate and cooperate in solving the world's future challenges. Xavier students from the art department will also go to Hebei University to exchange painting techniques and other theories of art. Visually, I think um, just the, the, the tilt of the brush um, in the way that the uh, Chinese painters have, have used the brush in so, over so many centuries um, has become sort of codified within a visual structure that I, I find very beautiful and, and very important for students to know. Um, we have our own, um, in terms of African American culture, that um, is significant, uh, our own way of, of, of seeing, and I think um, we have that to share and to offer to our colleagues in, in China. Because it happens at Xavier, the Confucius Institute also brings a unique opportunity to New Orleans secondary schools by helping them increase their academic prowess and global awareness. So it was a very, very smart thing for the uh, Chinese people and government to 
uh, begin at Xavier because that trickle down effect, if you will, or trickling out effect has already happened. And uh, there's great enthusiasm on the campus. And I've met with some high school principals and they are also enthusiastic about trying to create relationships. And so uh, it's happening now at Xavier. We've been working with our Division of Education. We've been working with some of our local schools to infuse Mandarin. That's, that's a Mandarin in our K through 12 schools. And we've been forming some partner schools in order to do that. Confucianism is the cornerstone of traditional Chinese culture. When they do the summer camp, after they arrive in China, they will find that the Chinese people are very, very friendly to them. They will try their best to teach them, to introduce Chinese culture to them. I think that will be a great opportunity for Xavier University to, to visit China and experience Chinese culture. Xavier hopes that when students and faculty return from their study exchange at Hebei, they can position themselves to actually begin implementing educational practices and workforce innovations here in Louisiana and in the United States. It's kind of interesting that you know you've got a lot of uh, Chinese people who visit uh, New Orleans. You know, one of the things that we learned here in starting the Confucius Institute is that we had no idea how culturally rich we are right here in terms of. Uh, the Chinese population. Well, I, I think it opens up a world of opportunities uh, when when you look at uh, the Chinese uh, exports and imports and opportunities, you know, in the, in the end, students, you know, go to college to enrich themselves and to learn and to become independent thinkers and, and their parents hope they will get a good job. So I think that those who learn Mandarin and who go on to, to study other fields, it could be medicine, it could be law, and if they have Mandarin language, language skills, it enhances their, their career in that regard as well. New Orleans businessman and former Xavier Vice President Carl Turner says he and his partner Edward Lee are one of the largest importers of crawfish from China. On the other side, they say they are working on projects now for the export of fish to China, like Asian carp and other fish that Americans do not traditionally eat. New Orleans has a very, very rich multicultural city. And uh, I think, you know, and Xavier has uh, also a tradition of uh, great teaching, so it's a perfect match. I hope uh, the business community will support it by making good contributions so we can send these students over there. And I think that any college graduate ought to have an experience in a global sense. And what China has offered for us is not just go and visit, it, they've caught, uh, well, they, they want to partner with us in the sense that exchange students, they want to know more about how we teach pharmacy, we want to know more about the herbal, herbal medicines that they have, they want to know about teaching and for years uh, America has sent teachers to China to teach English of course, but the methods have been so impressive with China, they want to know more about the methods in teaching. We want to know more of course about how well they have been in the disciplining of young people to understand education at an early age. And of course, the music and the arts are just a natural, a natural for a university in a city like New Orleans. I just can't imagine that if you were a Xavier student or any student, say at an HBCU or any school, and you apply for a job with these companies now that are having big, big operations in China, and you put on your application that I spent four years in undergraduate school and got my master's degree, and I got a chance to study Mandarin and the culture in China as compared to another application that doesn't have that last part, I think you'd be first in, in. So we are happy to have the relationship because it's going to be good for students.